guys, let's quit our jobs and travel the world. One, two, three. Jumping off a cliff! Woo! Oh, golly. Yet another bus trip. I'm getting so tired of these things. Can someone please sponsor my flights already? Kenya Airways, Ethiopian Air, any takers? I'll be hearing from you soon. Meanwhile, this is Tahmid Coach Limited. It cost me about 230 rands from Dar es Salaam to Mombasa. Safe, clean, efficient, comfortable. 12 hours on the road, 8 out of 10. Because in Mombasa is an island, we had to use Likoni Ferry Crossing to cross on over to Mombasa from Dar es Salaam. The rule is that all passengers must disembark vehicles and get onto the ferry on foot, leaving only the driver in the vehicle. But Sana, those Tahmid Coach Limited bus drivers were like, Hayin, falan jeni ni ketin. Ninga bona go ko bileo net, so play my ena for a delay. And this other lady, Sana, one oh god, do you know that about a week ago, a lady and her daughter drowned because they were in the car while the ferry was crossing so and there's no more going to but the car rolled off of the ferry and into the water and they drowned i felt that the bus drivers risked our lives by making us sit in the bus during the crossing and for that i'm going to apply section 991 of my personal immoralities act and reduce their rating from 8 out of 10 to negative 64 out of 10. shame on you tahmid coach shame also on the ferry officials because the signs guys are clearly there passengers all passengers to disembark all vehicles except for the driver yet the officials saw us in the bus papers will let us in and they still did nothing so if this happens to you please feel free to let your driver know but you will be disembarking and they will wait for you at the end of the crossing did i say negative 64 out of 10 i meant negative 640 sorry i mix up my numbers sometimes Checked into my Airbnb, about 198 rands per night. Private bathroom, love it. Oh, Irene, the shower was so cold this morning. What time should I wake up so that I make sure I catch the hot water? Um, that shower stays cold. It's too hot here to use hot water. Don't you think? Oh, <laughs> okay, no problem. Oh, is that breakfast I see? Mmm, what do we have here? My booking included a breakfast of either banana pancakes or an omelette served with love and milk tea. And my hostess and I would often sit for hours after having finished eating, just chatting away. Those were the best parts of my mornings. Mm, thank you so much, Irene, for a scrumptious breakfast. This is Mombasa Beach. Yeah, this is Mombasa Beach. Amanzi, guys, our shushu. I think I went Went paddle boating. Oh my gosh, jeez. Did they say holiday or leg day? And then we docked for lunch. Corn and bean soup. I think city is sopu gets toss with chapati and tea. In Kiswahili, tea is called chai and in Mandarin it's called cha, proving yet again that we are all of one origin, African. Isn't that just fascinating? Okay. Yeah. Now, you know this one? Mm -hmm. Chai. Chai from Kenya, not so from South Africa. What does this chai mean? Keri kericho. After lunch, I went jewelry shopping and then played the bride in a Maasai beach wedding. If you want to go wash, now what are you going to If you want to cook soup, now what are you going to And then went right back into the ocean. Oh, that didn't say busy enjoying the warm water and the warm sunset. I got stung by a bloody jellyfish. blue bottle, the worst pain ever. This It was so painful, and I could feel the poison or whatever it is, the substance, go up my arm to my heart region 
and then yes, she gets sis. In your such cheesy guys, what? Anyway, about this album, is it? Oh, you can so bad right now, never. The police on about about ten, number and up there, but nyani they were right. Cause after thirty minutes. I was good as new back in the water anyway if you are unfortunate enough to get stung by a blue bottle don't worry just wash the rinse the area with seawater um and then the sand to cover the affected area with sand and then you yeah, just lie down and relax until the pain eases and then go get yourself an antihistamine from the chemist you don't need a prescription it's over the counter and yeah, in like a week or two, the scars should be gone. Because look now, you can't even see anything here. It will be very itchy. It will swell sometimes. But don't worry, it will just give it a week. And the swelling should be gone. My brother saw pictures of me in a Maasai Shuka. And he asked for one as well. This is a Maasai Shuka. It's the traditional cloth of the Maasai tribe. And so I decided to venture out into town and see what I could find. This is a tuk-tuk. You'll be taking a lot of these if you want to save time and money on transport. In Kenya, over and above normal cars, Uber also offers tuk-tuks as well as scooters, which they call boda bodas. Scooters in Tanzania are called bajajis. The boda boda is always the cheapest option, probably because it's also the riskiest option. But drivers have helmets and it's the fastest option and it's also fun. So a no-brainer for me. Anyway, back to downtown Mombasa. This area is called Mwembe Tayari. I actually also exchanged Tanzanian shillings to Kenyan shillings in Mwembe Tayari. There's a small shop next to the Tahmid bus stop. Kupaliwe pa exchange money, get a SIM card, etc. So just go into that small shop. They give a great rate and also they are trustworthy. And then I did a very silly thing. I went to a touristy place totally out of character and i paid for it dearly this is for jesus 1200 kenyan shillings for non-resident adults let's take a look around read somewhere that these doors were designed by the Omani people, the same doors that I was admiring in Zanzibar. And here are some amateur ass wall paintings by the Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one who's bored of hearing what the Portuguese built and who the Arabs conquered? Where are the tourist attractions that celebrate African people and celebrate African people's work, that show us Africa in pre-colonial times? Show me that and I'll pay big money to see it. That's me, bored. Can we please get out of here? Portuguese, Omani, and British people, I fought on this fort of yours where slaves were most likely tortured. Absolutely abhorrible. Thanks, bye. Even this bird was mocking me. I know, I know. My mistake. So, Irene, since I found Fort Jesus to be an absolute waste of my time, do you perhaps have any more suggestions of places I could visit? Mm, matter of fact, I do. Why not try Malindi and Watamu? Two hours and about 60 rands will get you there by Matatu. And Matatu is a minibus. Enjoy! Got to Malindi and grabbed a quick bite to eat at Mount Olive Cafe whilst I waited for my Airbnb to be ready for me. And um, I have nothing good to say. This is my room for about 150 rands per night. Mosquito net, check. Cold shower, check. Must be a Kenyan thing then. For affordable local cuisine, try Jabrin. But make sure to get there before lunchtime because it's one of those joints that tends to run out of certain items. And when they sold out, they sold out. This is pilau. It tastes better than it looks, but still, I didn't dare touch the meat. No way, Jose. For the best pizza in town, Stars and Garters Lounge Bar is your best bet. Yeah. We're shooting a new series called Beach Tasting. Check it out. Mambo Pua. I'm Bobby Sibia. I tried industrial engineering. Eh, didn't quite like it. Tried business analysis. Failed dismally. 
Luckily for me, I managed to quit just two days before I was fired. And then I spent months and months at home, you know, doing what I'm good at, relaxing. Until one day I decided to risk my life and go around the world sampling different beaches with a spoon of course introducing my new wildly useless series beach tasting first up willy beach doesn't sound safe for women watamu kenya first up the taste mm, a tad too salty but it'll do the water temperature is warm which should make this beach ideal for swimming except you can't swim because the shallow end is brown from all this seaweed and all these plants it looks like ima tabela ew freaky ingati something will jump out and bite you no ways but shame as promised by google the sand is white there are palm trees and lots of restaurants right in front of the ocean there are also small shops along the beach and even a hair salon. I saw some foreigners getting their hair braided. And the beach seems safe, except uh, there's always someone trying to sell you something. A boat ride, some henna. One thing I found extremely impressive about this beach is that you can walk from one island to the next during low tide. That's Heart Island. I think it's shaped like a heart. Apparently, you can see a lot of sea creatures there like starfish, oysters, etc. The sunbeds appear to be free of charge, but then again, I have quite a knack for attracting freebies. Ooh, and the view is not bad at all. I'm not too happy with the color. The internet promised me crystal blue waters, and I'm certainly not impressed with the litter. I didn't feel safe swimming in the murky waters, and also not many people were swimming either. So I'm going to have to give Willy Beach a solid 4 out of 10 because it was nothing short of average. Anyway, I guess that's enough work for one day. Don't want to wear her out now. <sighs> and that's a wrap. Time for a drinky at Willy Beach Restaurant. My waiter told me that Watamu is short for Watu Watamu, which means the people are friendly. Watu means Batu, the people. Watamu means are friendly, are sweet, are nice. And if his own amiable nature was anything to go by, then he was spot on. The view was exquisite. The lager was decent. Pity I couldn't say the same about the food though. And the taste was no better than the presentation. Yet the prices were exorbitant. Oh, by the way, this is Gigi. She sells gorgeous jewelry. I got this ankle bracelet from her. As well as this. Apparently this henna is fake and could cause skin problems. The only real henna is the brownish reddish one. I went on Instagram, posted, and people were like, Oh my gosh, where did you get that? Is that real henna? So you guys, hey, Gigi. Hey, this is Gigi. I have a thousand Gigi. I have a gamma like. So yeah, guys, don't get the black henna in case it causes problems to your skin. This one did not, but I won't do it again. Also, maybe get some travel insurance because, as you can see, anything can happen on these trips. Wow, now only Johnny Lang. Come again, Lakers and go to Kenya. Hmm, what an eventful day. I'm really enjoying this trip, but I'm also feeling like a more authentic experience of Kenya, a more relaxed, no frills type of experience, a rural experience. And so, I've asked my Airbnb hostess. To please hook me up with a family in a rural area that can host me for like a week. And she found one in Malindi. In Ila Electrox and Solo in Gualape Malindi. So that's where I'll be going in the next vlog. So make sure not to miss that. Mm, guys, I'm not, London, I'm not even sure what I'm eating. I think the orange ones are battered potatoes. And the brownish ones are fish cakes and yes we'll talk about thank you so much for watching see you next time on jumping off a cliff Woo!